it is going to be the most emotionally devastating deployment I've been on because of Hunter. But it's also going to be the most exciting and rewarding deployment I've been on professionally because I'm in charge of an incredibly elite unit. It's awesome. She was about six months old when I left the last time. And uh, well, I came back and she didn't really recognize me, didn't know to embrace me and accept me as dad. And that took a while. And since then, we've been able to reunite. Uh, it's been about 15 months that her and I have been together. But uh, it's provided the opportunity for her and I to, to bond and, and build a great relationship, and we have. Will you throw this in the laundry? Sure. Okay, please do that. Having missed almost the first two years of her no. life, I felt like uh, her and I hadn't really connected too much. But now it's to a point where I, I really do feel like she's my daughter. Sometimes she wants daddy. She does things with me that she doesn't do with Jen. Um, she talks to me in different ways. It's just, I don't know, I feel like her and I have something special, and that's awesome. And, and now I think that's all going to go away when I leave for 15 months. Um, and I've hated watching her go through the, the pre-deployment. Um, with her being three years old and as smart as she is, we decided to discuss it with her and tell her, uh, especially with Joe gone, um, you know, he's been in uh, Afghanistan since January. And Joe living here, uh, you know, she saw Joe every couple of weeks, whatever, when he and Danelle lived uh, in town. She knows he's gone. She hasn't seen him in months. So I compared it to that, explained that I'm leaving, going on an airplane, uh, won't be back until she's four. And so she struggled digesting it. Sometimes she is verbal, which is great, when she'll come forward and ask questions, you know, like, are you going to be home for Halloween? No. Christmas? No. I'll be home when you're four. And uh, that gives her a little bit of context on it. Uh, we talked about the desert uh, yesterday, I think. But there's still a lot of emotions inside her that she doesn't know how to handle. Um, she throws more temper tantrums now than she ever has, uh, pretty much on a daily basis. She doesn't sleep well anymore. You know something's bothering her, but she can't tell you what that is or, or why. Sometimes she'll let it slip out, but I think for the most part, it's, it's all me. It's all because I'm leaving. She's trying to get a grip on it, and she, she's three. She doesn't know how. She doesn't even know how she's supposed to feel. So it's been very frustrating and uh, a big struggle. But what are you going to do? How do you do it? That's what I do. I don't know. I mean, When I ask myself that, because I know all of the textbook answers, um, why do I serve amidst so much sacrifice? Well, the only real good thing I can come up with is, what if I didn't? Um, I don't know, this is, this is who I am. This is what I'm best at. This is what I'm proud of. And I, I think it's important for my family to see that, that he did what he loved. He was good at it. And every time he did it, he was, he was awesome. And I want them to be proud of me too. But, uh, Sure, it'd be a lot easier to sit back and just hang out with her, get a nine to five job, just raise my daughter. And I really don't fault people for doing that. It's, 
Wow. <laughs> It'd be nice, but it wouldn't be me. Ha, ha, ha.